But um, anyway, welcome Belfast Bombshell. She's uh, located somewhere in the UK, so cheers to you. The Man in the Shadow. He's got nine videos up. And look, I've been falling way behind. I can't even look at the people that I subscribe to. Um, uh, Miss Ellen, I mean, I need to catch up on, on your stuff. I mean, you really have some, some uh, you're, you're an intellectual and, uh, and a, a very sober, calm mind. And uh, I enjoy watching your, your stuff, but um, uh, falling behind. All right, Celtic Warrior 8. Love that name, Celtic Warrior. Now, this is one of these things. I thought I already had a subscriber called uh, Azrael's Judgment or Israel's Judgment. I'm wondering if this is Proud American 8 pretending to be somebody that he's not. I don't know. But um, I kind of liked on the, uh, on the profile page, he said Robin Hood was his hero and still is. Hey, you know what? Paleocrat. And Proud American A, you know, said, oh, Citizen Kong likes Robin Hood. You know, that's stealing. That's wrong. And these free market people and these uh, anarcho-capitalists and, you know, and this whole, look, man, Robin Hood was a story, okay? I mean, there might be some historical reference, uh, actual Robin Hood. I never really did the research. I just saw the movies and I remember the cartoons, okay? And, uh... The idea that King Richard went away to fight the Crusades, left things in charge of, uh, what was his name, Prince, oh geez, now I'm drawing a blank, Prince, I want to say Little Richard, <laughs> that's wrong, <laughs> King Richard went away, Richard the Lionhearted, and left it to this other guy, Prince, I, I can't remember, anyway, and the guy was a real jerk, man. He was like taxing everybody till they had nothing, and uh, and and taking advantage of the poor. And Robin Hood is a hero because he went around and took from people that had more than they needed while the people were starving, and gave it to the poor. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get all like, oh, it's wrong to steal. Hey, you know what? I don't care. Robin Hood, awesome dude. Um, Prince John, that's who it is, Prince John, now I remember. All right, and I think that's it from my, my new subscribers. So, uh, getting close, getting close to 100. I feel like the little train that could. All right, um, I might want to introduce a new little feature called the thorn in my side. And uh, American Latino just almost squeaked into that thorn in my side thing. But you know what? The guy is a true gentleman. And he understands that I try to be civil. I really do. I'll get mad sometimes and I'll post a comment that I regret later. You know, and I did. I called Fletch for Freedom a, a liar. And I apologize. But he, he really, and I've run into people with stuff. I run into people that do this and I hate it. I hate it when people say something that is not true and they really, really insist it's the truth. And I mean, it's like a politician, but at least a politician, you know, politicians are wiggly, you know? They never really say flat out that this is the absolute god awful truth. But Fletch for Freedom is saying stuff like, Japan is a failure, you know? That, that a social democracy is, is, any country that has a social democracy is an economic failure. That America, apparently in his mind, is the only successful model. Well, that's just crap, okay? To say that Sweden and uh, Ireland and Great Britain and every other country that has a, a, a social democracy is a failure is an absolute lie, okay? And that's why I called him a liar, all right? Maybe I don't regret it. I don't know. But Fletch for Freedom qualifies as a thorn in my side because they've been posting so many comments, not even on my video. I went on this other video about, about Jesus and, and uh, you know, how Jesus was a liberal and, and, you know, and sort of pointed to a sort of social democracy. You know, uh, the idea of, uh, you know, the, uh, the rich man 
uh, you know, uh, has a difficult time entering heaven, you know, uh, giving to Caesar what, what is Caesar's, all that, you know, stuff. And he's turning it into like, no, we don't have to pay our taxes. No, socialism of any, any kind is absolutely wrong. He calls, he compares social, uh, social democracy to Stalinistic communism. And Miss Ella, she, she responded to a couple of his posts too, and so she'll know what I'm talking about. But um, American Latino, you know, you're a gentleman, and you and I, we'll, we'll duke it out, we'll have our back and forth, and then in the end, we'll, we'll shake hands and say, it's fair to disagree. You know, I haven't got that from Fletch for Freedom, and I haven't offered the olive branch either, because the man is such a pompous windbag. And until I see a little humility, I'm not going to back down. All right? I mean, I apologize for calling him a liar. I did on a, on a post. I, I think he's more misguided than anything else. Um, so, I don't know. You know, and I hope the people that subscribe to me or at least watch my videos know that I don't try to pretend that I know everything, that I am a source of the absolute truth. I might joke about it, you know, that I'm such a great authority, the Citizen Kong. But in the end, I'm just guessing to what I think is, is the right way. I mean, I look at the world and I see what's wrong and I'm offering suggestions, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. And being a liberal is not a dirty word. And calling me a commie it's not, it's not true, okay? I mean, I'm part of the capitalistic, capitalistic system. I am a capitalist too, I participate, all right? But like my father said, there's something not right about making money off the, backs, off the back of another man, okay? And um, my father uh, survived the, the Great Depression and that influences a lot of the way I see the world because I grew up with stories about how he would uh, go hungry that day if he wanted to see a movie, okay? And I'm sure there's people that had it worse than my father. But he was a farm boy from Oregon, went on to work in uh, weapons research. The book Cat's Cradle by Kurt Vonnegut says a lot about um, people in that, in that area of science and engineering and weapons development. They're all really great guys. Most of them wouldn't hurt a fly. And yet somehow they separated that from the fact that they worked on weapons of mass destruction.